The first question is from Kiran, and it says, a young woman's husband died. She received good proposals after her husband's death, but she rejected them because she wanted to be with her husband in Jannah. People said she's sinful for rejecting what Allah sent her. Is this true? This is an issue related to a person's preference. Is it true that a woman, if Allah wills and she enters Jannah, that she would be with her husband? The answer is, if they're both sentenced and graced by Allah to be in Jannah, the woman, the wife, would be with her last husband. So if she only married one, she will be with this one. But if she married three, the most authentic opinion is that she would be with the last one of them. Therefore, if a woman is widowed and thinks that due to her love to her husband that she doesn't want to get married, and there is no fitna upon her. She doesn't have the fear of falling into sin because of not having a man. If in this case, this is permissible. This is her right. No one can say she's sinful or no one can blame her for this, especially if she has children and she is devoting herself to raising her children. But if there is fitna, or if she fears that she may need to get married later on, five, ten years, but then she would be um, not wanted due to her age, in this case, she must accept whatever proposals, good proposals that come her way. And this is part of what Allah has decreed upon her, and she would be happy to fulfill such a decree. Having said that, it is not true that it is recommended that she stays unmarried so that she would be with her husband. All the hadiths in some of the companions uh, uh, taking a promise from their spouse not to marry afterwards is not authentic. They're all weak. And having said that again, it's up to a woman's preference so many of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, female companions, ended up marrying a second and a third person after their husbands. For example, Asma bint Umais, may Allah be pleased with her. She was married to Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. When he died, she married Abu Bakr as siddiq may Allah be pleased with him. And when he died, she married her former brother-in-law, Ali ibn Abi Talib, the brother of Ja'far. So this shows us that this is something that was normal and it is only according to uh, um, uh, human nature and Allah knows best.